Hi everyone, welcome back. I had put a glimpse of the groom in my Insta story. You would have seen it if you are following me there. I was totally busy these days and now in relax come lazy mood. Hence the delay in uploading this vlog. Yes, my brother's wedding is over. This vlog had been taken the day before wedding and a very short glimpse on the day of wedding. The day before wedding is always hectic. Lots of last minute shopping and a total rearrangement for the house before guests arrive. We had a small function at home the day before wedding and for wedding because of corona and keeping in mind of the norms of social gatherings. Still, we would have our immediate family members coming on the wedding eve. So we finished off all the last minute shopping and stuff so that we all are at home to welcome the guest. I went to my home to keep my brother's wedding outfit as he would be coming home for a photo shoot. So as soon as he reached here, he could just change the dress and get ready for the shoot. After getting back home, before arranging the bride's dress that we need to carry while going to her house, I organized mine and Nisri's sari and accessories, as we always end up in a mess. So this time I made sure everything that we need on the wedding day is ready. We got our blouse stitched a day before the wedding. had already bought few accessories that would go well with the sari. These are my favorite gold bangles I had since wedding. It's 15 years old. This is from Malabar Gold. These are hijab pins. Rings for both of us. My father was a bit tensed about getting things right, however we asked him to relax. Everything was going really smoothly but he was worried if something would go wrong. So he planned everything very well ahead and hence the result. My younger brother asked me to join him for few more shopping we had to do. So in between arranging the dresses, I had to go out. From late night sleep because of editing and publishing my previous video, I felt really tired. So had a tea after small shopping. On the way back, bought some bakery stuff. On the day before wedding, since everybody was busy, kids were happy as nobody was there to control them. And we too let it be as we had no time to be with them. Usually they are allowed only 30 to 45 minutes, 
but on this day it went beyond I had to rearrange my new sister-in-law's wardrobe. Now, in some places in the Malabar part of Kerala, they do have a culture of well arranging the room of the newly wedded couples. But I haven't seen much of that in our place unless it's needed. This house was renovated few years back and was recently given a paint. Hence, nothing extra was done to their room. In case they need a change later, it would be definitely done for them. I try to make a good rearrangement for their room in my way. We got all her dress stitched on the day before wedding, so I arranged it in the wardrobe. These are her party wear salwars and kurti. These are ones to wear at home. I'm arranging in my way just before she comes home. Later she could change if she wanted. My works doesn't get away in one stretch. Either it would be time to have food or someone might have come home or I will have to go out for something. And that's the final look. At the bottom, I left some space so that she could place her bridal dress over there. Now it's time to pack for the bride. This is the bridal dress we had selected for her. I'm not sure if you can get the exact color combo in the video. This in fact looks really pretty on her. You can get to see that in the later part of the video. I don't know about other places but we do have a culture of giving gift by the groom's mother to the bride's mother and grandmothers. It's usually dress that I have seen being given. This is a very traditional practice being carried till today. Her mom wears sari and presently she has only her mom's mom so abaya for her grandmother. We in fact checked with her on the type of sari her mother wear and ended up in this color. And that's all packed for taking along. I 
I wanted to buy a gift for my new sister-in-law, the new bride coming home. Since my elder brother had already bought a watch for her, I had no idea what else. Totally out of time, I couldn't shop anything from Riyadh. Hence went with my husband to buy a salwar suit for her. On the way back, we had collected the bouquet that we had booked for placing on our car. We didn't decorate it much, just a simple heart shape on the bonnet. These were some extra roses for their room, not knowing what to do with it. When I returned back home, most of my cousins and families had arrived. Normally we do have a Mehndi night and that's very special when it's a girl's wedding. Since it's a boy getting married, we cousins put Mehndi for each other. Unlike how it used to be, this time family gathering was less. The groom wasn't seen anywhere at home. He was still at the men's parlor for doing his hair and other. He came home late and we welcomed him by singing some wedding songs. It was real fun to have all the cousins around and singing songs. Not just the cousins, even our aunts had joined who enjoyed a lot. Late night, I guess it was almost 2 a.m. They left and would be coming home tomorrow. Since the bride's accessories were scattered in the big pack, I had bought a small box to arrange everything so that it's easy. Finally me, my mom and Nesri put Mehendi and slept around at 4. It was a big day for my little brother and his bride. The videographers and hairstylists had arrived to start their work. I haven't taken much video on this day since we had hired the videographer and photographer. Hence, I don't even have good photos on my phone to share with you all.
that si mahal it's actually a simple diamond set that she could use as a daily wear my mom made sure that mahal is something simple so that it's always worn by them time to leave home and come back with this bride This is the makeup team. We left back but went straight to our home for my brother to change his dress and for a photo shoot later we had a reception at the auditorium and then she was welcomed home while she got fresh and went downstairs to meet everyone home my elder brother and brother-in-laws had arranged their room it was really a fun filled day for all of us just like how we did for my brother we also welcomed the bride by singing songs My father was totally relaxed after the big day as everything went really smooth by God's grace. We had gone through lots of stress before wedding due to health issues in the family. But these are part of life to make us more strong mentally. Once we go through and pass the test, we become more calmer and healthier in every way. So just stay positive always that there's some bright light at the end of a tunnel. And that's all for today's video. I shall share the proper wedding vlog soon. Stay tuned and stay safe everyone. Thank you so much for all your prayers and blessings for the couple. It really means a lot to us. See you soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye.